This is the Movo Edge DI. It's a wireless microphone kit for iOS devices. It operates on the 2.4 GHz frequency band. Inside the box, you have the user guide, a Movo sticker, a very nice carry case to take the microphone with you, a wired lavalier mic. Along the lavalier mic, you also get the two protection sleeves, two clips and a reset pin. So you'll always have a spare in case you lose one or one gets damaged. You also have the wireless transmitter and the wireless receiver. So let's take a look at these two in more closer detail. So let's start off with the wireless transmitter. On the top, you have a line in port and the microphone port where you'll put the lavalier mic. You have a belt clip at the back, it's pretty strong. I don't think this would fit inside a cold shoe mount. On the left hand side, you have the on off switch here and then you have the pairing button to connect it to the receiver. Just note that this transmitter does require two AAA batteries, so it doesn't have an internal battery where you can charge it via a USB. So I'm going to insert these batteries into this, like so. And then now I'll be ready to turn this on and connect it. One of the best things I like about receivers like this is that there's no requirement for having to charge this or have any external batteries to power it or any cables to connect it to your phone. It just draws the power directly from the lightning port there at the end. It has an internal antenna there. You can actually monitor the sound using the headphone port just on the left hand side. On the bottom of the receiver you have to switch for the mono and the stereo depending on your situation. Then you also have the volume control to change the decibel gain. On the front you have a LED indicator as well to showcase the connection. So now let's go ahead and turn both of these on now that the battery is in. So you just switch this on and I will now connect this to my iPhone 12 Pro. So there you have it, it's connected. You can see there's a solid blue light on there to indicate the connection and this is blinking to show that it's now ready to start recording. So just before I switch over to start using the microphone on the Movo Edge DI, which I've now clipped onto my shirt, one question I get asked quite often is, will this work with gimbals? So I've got my Hohem iSteady X, very compact gimbal here. I've attached the uh, receiver there at the end of the iPhone. As you can see, it works pretty well. It's not gonna get in any way. I recommend that you use this in landscape mode because if you do switch the phone to be in portrait mode, then it could hit the bottom of the gimbal, depending on the size of your gimbal, of course. But for the most part, you are absolutely fine to do shooting with this microphone kit on top of a gimbal. So now let's put this phone on a tripod, switch over the microphone to start using the sound coming directly from this lavalier microphone from the Movo Edge DI kit. So just for a little bit of a comparison, I haven't connected the receiver to my iPhone 12 Pro yet. This is the audio coming directly from the inbuilt microphone for my smartphone. So let's go ahead, connect this, and you guys can see the difference in the audio coming directly from this lavalier microphone. So now this is the audio coming directly from the Movo Edge DI, which is clipped onto my shirt with the lavalier microphone. I've had a playback of this, it's absolutely clear. It's such a massive difference, and the convenience of having this clip onto the iPhone 12 Pro is so easy, and I really like microphone kits that can do this. One other thing I wanted to mention is that this is clipped onto my phone with a case on. I've had microphone kits for iPhone 12 Pros where I had to take the case off for it to connect the receiver. This is not the case. And the fact that you don't need to have the adapter for your iPhone 12 Pro to connect the microphone, is just so convenient to have. One other test that I really like to do as well is take this outdoors. Now it's windy, it's snowing a little bit, and it's quite cold today. So I really wanted to push it to the test. This receiver can actually go up to 60 meters or 200 feet in range. So I'm also going to test the range on this as well. So let's go ahead, step outdoors, see how that sounds, and let me know what you guys think. Okay guys, so now I'm outdoors, it's very cold. It's slightly snowing a little bit. If, I don't know if you guys can see it in the video. This car park here is about 100 meters from this point. The microphone kit says it can go up to 60 meters in range, so I'm really gonna test that, really push it to the limits. So let's go ahead and see how this sounds at various different distances, and I'll continue walking backwards. I have the transmitter belt clipped onto my jean pocket here. So I'm gonna give you updates as I walk back. So this is the 25 meter mark. Now I have marked out how far the distance is to the back of the car park. So let me go ahead and continue walking. So this is 50 meters. Let me know what you guys think. Can you still hear me? Is it really clear? So I'm gonna really push it back to the end of the car park. Just to let you know, this is the 60 meter mark. Let me know if you guys can still hear me. Is it clear? Is it still cutting off? 
or is it distorted? Now I'm going to push it right far back which might cut out the audio so we will test that in a second. So this is just under 100 meters so you probably can't hear me. If you can't then that's absolutely fine because you probably won't be doing any filming this far back. So let's go ahead and start walking backwards. So back closer to the 60 meter mark now. One thing I really like about this microphone is that it does have an inbuilt antenna onto the receiver so I don't need to point any external antennas directly to my direction. Also try to hear up, can you hear the wind noise? I think it sounds absolutely great. It's not really distorting anything via the wind or any other ambient noises in the background, which is really something you would look out for when you buy a microphone kit like this. One other thing I wanted to mention to you guys, if you do want to get the Duo kit, then you can have two transmitters. It comes in just under $200 as well. I'll leave a link down below if you wanted to get that kit. But this is the one for the single transmitter. I'm very happy. Let's go back inside because it is very cold. Overall, I think the audio comes out so well. The convenience of having this just ready as a plug and play receiver, couple of batteries into the transmitter and you're ready to go is so convenient to have. I'm not too much of those fans that have those transmitters which are bulky and you can clip them directly onto your shirt. I will always use a lavalier microphone, which this one does require. So that's absolutely fine. Now this comes in at $140 on Amazon. I'll leave a link down below of where you guys can check it out. There's so many really good things I like about it. Hopefully that review was useful. I'm very happy. The audio is very clear. Let me know what you guys think. And if you did like this video, make sure you hit the like button. I've got tons of microphone review videos coming out in the very near future. I do tons of audio tech, camera accessories, and all types of tech gadgets, which I know you're going to like. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you won't miss those ones. And I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.